Hello everyone, Jerry Smith here at the Blockade Runner. Today we're going to talk about knives, how to choose the right knife, how to maintain it, and most importantly, how to sharpen it. Thanks for joining us today. Here are just a few examples of knives that a Civil War reenactor might carry today. Now, choosing a knife is a very personal thing, and you'll have to do that for yourself. A lot of people just walk up and say, that one's pretty, and they buy that one, and that's fine. Me, I like to think about the job I'm going to be doing. This is the one that I like best. This is a good reproduction of a good 19th century knife that was very popular. Now, it's large enough to do the big jobs around the camp, like cutting up a stew meat or a country ham, cutting ropes for a tent fly. But it's also small enough that it's not heavy in your pocket, and you can use it for sharpening pencils or other small jobs. Now, the maintenance on a knife is very simple. If it's wet, dry it. If it's dry, oil it. And if it's dull, sharpen it. And that's where we're going to be spending most of our focus today on how to sharpen your knife. Now there are two parts to sharpening a knife. Your knife, of course, and then having a good stone. This is the one that I like. I have one that's exactly the same as this that I use every day. It has two different coarseness. One's a little finer than the other one. Now, I generally just use the coarse side because I can make a knife shave just with that, so why well, make it any sharper than that, right? But that's up to you. Now, what I like to do is I like to find a good surface to put my stone down on, sort of hold it with my finger there in place where it can't get away, and then holding your knife, something similar to this, you're going to lay it down on the stone and try to get that right angle. You know, that's the key is getting it at the right angle. And what that's all about is the angle that you hold your knife in relationship to the stone. If you hold your knife too much of an angle, that's never going to sharpen. Too little of an angle, same thing. You want to hold it in that sweet spot, which is just around 22 degrees. Now, a good way to figure this out will be when your knife gets a little bit older and the blade turns a little darker you'll be able to see a shiny spot along the edge as you sharpen it. Now, if the shiny spot's too far back, that means you're holding it at too low of an angle. If you don't see a shiny spot, or it's just along the edge, that's too steep. You're gonna have to lay it back down a little bit. But practice is how you're gonna get good, just like anything else. When you lay that knife down, and you get that angle where you're happy with it, draw it back towards you. Turn it over, and then going away from you, try to hold a similar angle. Back and forth. Back and forth. Now, it's okay to feel of a knife. Just don't run your hand down the blade. That's crazy, okay? Do it this way, across. And you'll get the feel for it. You can tell the difference between a sharp knife and a dull knife by doing it that way. Practice and time is gonna make you a great knife sharpener. You just have to try, get in there, stay with it, and you'll be sharpening knives in no time. Now, if you got here from the Blockade Runner website, just hit the back button, it's right here, and you'll go right back. If you didn't, you should go, www.blockaderunner.com. Thanks for joining us today.